<laughs> <laughs> Gotta hit record first. All right. David, this is no no video on this one. So, you know, we're just gonna chill out with this. Yeah. Hit that intro. When you're not too busy, yeah, yeah, try yeah, to waste yeah, some time. Yeah, 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 Watch yeah, every yeah, show, yeah, don't know yeah, where to go. Yeah, you yeah, wish yeah, time would go yeah, by. Yeah, I mean, I have a suggestion. Yeah, 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 Do whatever yeah, you want with it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not your yeah, first, but it's not yeah, your last. Yeah, sick of your podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick of favorite podcast. The show that is just for you. Yeah, for you. It's like your favorite podcast. What's up, y'all? And welcome to your second favorite podcast. I'm your host, Nico, and I'm with my lovely girlfriend, Miss Jada. I was going to say Miss Nico. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that was. I was going to come right back up. Misses. It's misses to you, That's guy. the misses to you. Misses. Um, don't disrespect me. I sound like I'm doubled. Oh, um, you can't hear. I can't like, hear it all. No, I'm just going to try and yell. Mm. And this like, hopefully, let's just work it out Ooh. for the best, you know? Let's work it out for the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry for those that are, you know, hoping for every week. This is sorry for the wait, too. Sorry, yeah. Sorry for the wait, too. <laughs> sorry for the wait at the beginning of the year. Miss after, well, I ain't going to say I missed miss two weeks. I missed two weeks. I'm going to make them up, though. <laughs> We're going to make them up. And what was the last thing we talked about? Uh, it was New Year's. Oh. <laughs> and I think that was recorded like the day before. So <laughs> essentially, we've been out for a minute. And uh, times have changed. Times have changed. But the only thing that hasn't changed is our sponsor. <laughs> Which is who? I need my sponsor spots. That guy. Rolls and Rolls. Yeah. This episode is brought to you by yeah. Rolls and Rolls. The road you should take. I'm so glad I don't have Yeah, and it's funny how I you put the stand. mic away as yeah, if that I was, was going to I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to hear it at the all. The road you should take. <laughs> dance oh, club man. silly. My lady's going to feel me. Welcome to the podcast where Jada sings very old songs. Who is that? Get Silly? Yeah. I don't remember who that was. I have no idea who that could have been. I guess so. Well, it's. Get Silly. It was nice going, yeah. (laughs) Get Silly. That was Uh, Atlanta stuff, ain't it? It was. It was very Fruity Loops. The beat. Fruity, Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. FL Studio. Scoop de dee boop. Scoop de Scoop de I'm mad that that was ever a thing. Yeah, that and. Slow me down, me down. I was cracking up. I'm like, is that really. For some reason, it went with the song. Really? Like, do you hear the whole song? It's just like, oh. It's going yeah. with the beat. You completely ignore it. Yeah. But when it's taken out of context, it's like, what the heck is this? <laughs> garbage. Yeah. Artists, y'all artists out here are garbage now. Mm. Now I see why newscasters be telling y'all to stay in y'all lane because y'all don't know how to act. Huh. That doesn't relate at all. Yeah, that was kind of like. talking about LeBron when yeah, she said that. I was about to say that's an athlete, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> but no, nah, man. You're providing a service. I think anybody that has a uh, a good position. Like a, a very, and they're, and they're putting it, they're in a good position where they their voices matter. Mm-hmm. They should say something. I, I know there's a fine line. Oh, I, yeah, it, no, it ain't course. a fine line. I think it's just some kind of line that we, I guess, we don't understand of when to say something and when not. Because some people will go, "Well, you didn't have to say anything." Yep. Then some people would go, um, "You yep. know, they should say something." I don't know. It's weird. I think everybody should say something. If you feel like you got something to say, you should say it. Mm-hmm. Period. Right. 
Nobody's trying to. Well, every even though people try to, was it muffle you? Whatever. Silence you. Yeah. <laughs> muffle you. I like muffle. So you it's can, still you. Yeah, <laughs> I can hear you a little bit, but I, <laughs> I just can't hear you clearly. You keep trying to silence you. Yeah. And you're just. I like that you put the Nick boxes up there. Actually. Really. Uh, makes, are you sad about them? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I've. From the beginning of me subscribing to them and then to go, you know what? This ain't working as well as I want it to. Yeah. It, it's a, it was a sad slope. Yeah. You and just turned it into a hoarder. Right. And then it got to a point where it was like, I could just find these things. And if I can't find those specific things, um, just, just, you know what? I would actually love it if Nickelodeon just did a t-shirt one. Would you call it? Like $20 a month. And they just give me a t-shirt. Just one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if it's 20. Yeah. Like, if you, whatever. Like, because obviously I have. Would I, you call yourself a novelty collector? I was about to say, correct me if I'm wrong. But when you say novelty, maybe I don't understand the word fully. Yeah, probably But I'm either. just thinking novels. <laughs> 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 okay, because you're yourself a knickknack collector. Uh, you collect knickknacks. I, I collect vinyls, which is a, another word that's a little misused because vinyls it could all, it be records, it could be um, figures. Well, they, they call it vinyl figures, but I think it's just supposed to mean vintage. 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 Oh, the quantity of being new, original, or unusual. That's what novelty means. Okay, well then no. <laughs> Synonym is creativity, unfamiliar, creativeness. I feel like these pops are very unfamiliar. Really? Yes. They're all made off the old stuff. But. Most of them are. It's not some people think that you could. Well, okay. If I'm like a 50 year old man, mm -hmm. I'm like, what do you collect? Coins? What do you collect? Um, Hold on, hold on. Some hold pins? On. Wait, wait, wait. Let's paint this. Let's paint this right. Because sometimes I go back in these episodes and I'm like, what was she? What was she trying to say? So are you are you the old man in the situation? Yeah, I'm who's a asking the question? Man. Asking you. Okay, you are you asking yourself? No, I'm asking you. Oh, okay. If you're a fifty old man asking me, what do you collect? Okay. And then I was like, <laughs> explain. No, I was saying I was answering before you get to answer. Okay. Which is what some older people do. What you collect? Coins? Would you collect um, <laughs> stamps? That's what they love. I love how he's as the old man acts stuff that he collects. Like he will probably collect. Yeah, because it's in his even culture. though he's fifty. Fifty is probably a little old. younger to hit. Old. I think that maybe if they were seventy, they probably would be in that little you know maybe in that coin collection stamp <laughs> thing. Fifty, I feel like it's not. I don't know. I don't feel like they really care too much about that. But pops. That's unusual to the culture. Really? Yeah. I mean, how big Funko is, it's so hard to see that. I sure ain't know nothing about it. Yeah, no, I didn't know anything about it either until <laughs> I subscribed to a channel. Mm, okay. um, Nerd Therapy. So, uh, um, um, shout out to them. Plug. Yeah. They're a good channel. Can They're a good little wholesome channel. I like it. They're the, they're the reason why I got addicted to pops because I was like, these things exist. Like anything, you, anytime you give me something that you know it's it's pretty affordable. They're yeah. like ten dollars a piece, um, at most twenty five. I think. Well, depends on which ones you get. Whatever. Uh, most price, the most of them are like ten dollars a piece. So they they're pretty affordable, and they also mimic things that I grew up watching: Ninja Turtles, DC stuff, Marvel Do stuff. Do you remember? Every each time you got one, uh, you know, like when did I get them? Yeah, yeah, I can remember. And most where you were and stuff like that. Yeah, most of them I can. That's good. Because it's, it's still fairly, it's still fairly new to me. Now maybe, maybe two more years, I probably be like, when did I get that one? Especially like, Try honestly, I don't remember Buzz Lightyear. I can tell you that the what Buzz number? Lightyear pop, I don't really remember. What number is he? Well, he's under. Jameis Winston and uh, next to um, Powerline. Yeah, like I know those people. I like how the episode oh, okay. that we don't record a video, we get more visual. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> we describe Can't things see in the room. Nothing we're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was it. They 
But other than that, I know the reason why I got the Harry Potter ones because mainly it was because of you. Yeah. Yeah. Teacher. I mean, I like Luna Love Good, and I thought that was a cool little design of her when she's wearing her um her lion. Yeah. And I thought that was a cool part. I like her as a character. She gets annoying sometimes, just how slow she talks. But yeah, that is. Very she annoying. seems like she's the expositional expositional character. I can't. I don't what know does that mean? Um, the person that kind of like descri- that leads the story on without having to go through it. She's like the person that goes, "Oh, Harry, you have to do this, that, and the other, and this and that." Oh. And it's like, okay, she was just there for the exposition. <laughs> It's like we Look at you using literary elements. Trying to. I'm getting into that world. I should be a little knowledged. A little knowledged. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody said that. I am. I'm a little knowledged in this. <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah. I love them. I like collecting pops. One day I mean one day. I'm gonna collect them overall. Like I'm gonna still keep collecting them. I really wish I had all the flashes. That's kind of the main That's goal. That's all you keep talking about. That's all I care Why about. Why am I so far down? I'm yelling. Okay. Can you hear me now? I'm like I was on green that whole time I was talking. I felt like I was yelling. Okay. You can't keep that tone forever. No, I can't. But yeah. I can try. I think the fact that I keep this mic so close to me, I feel like I gotta talk like this. Probably so. Just... So where are what were you saying? <laughs> about you know just now? Yeah. I just said I wanna collect. Oh more yeah, you always up. talk about getting yeah. a bunch of flash. Yeah, I just want to keep the flash line up. And I, I'm mad that I got in so late. There's something that I can't even get because they're like people are charging like a hundred something dollars for them, which obviously in every collector's realm, there's always somebody that's just out there buying stuff just to sell it as a higher price. But one day I'll get the flashes and I'll be happy. It's like like one Pokemon. Day. One day. Yes. One day. To be honest with you, if 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 I was really out to get the Pokemon ones, I'd be out there. <laughs> I think the only one they really have is Pikachu, though. I think they have. An, no, they don't have a Dash. But I don't if know they had Pikachu. that long skinny one I told you about that I like, I would get that. The long skinny one. The purple one that was like skinny, real skinny, and got Ekans? like two fingers. Oh, not fingers, but like their hand is like two. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Uh, one hand. Okay, so y'all. We looked this up already a long time ago. That's so that. funny because I, I I'm trying to help you with this. It's one. like a, it looks like a cat. I told you. You keep you kept saying Jigglypuff. I'm like, no, it looks like it's like a tall purple cat. It's yeah, but when I looked it up, you was like, yeah, that's probably it then. Yeah, it might be it. Was it Jigglypuff? No. <laughs> Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. You do it so different. Really? Yeah. How you do it? I'm just used to my brother singing it. What is, how you do it? He goes like, Alipuff. <laughs> he sings it. <laughs> he puts more flair to it. Yeah. So I sound different when I try to sing it exactly like it. You know what's funny? What's funny? When somebody <laughs> it sounds like a segment, you know what's funny? What's funny? When people sing songs and it's like in their head, that's the right pitch. Oh yeah. And then they hear it and like I hate when I do that. What's so awful? Like, I thought I was doing it right in my head. <laughs> like what's that last song you like to sing? You always sing the ending. Now you don't want to sing a different pitch. You just sing the ending of the song. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you um I don't know what you're talking about. Dang. You sing it all the time. It is rough, though, listening to other people butcher songs. <laughs> I'd be pissed. Yeah. Like, that's not it. <laughs> My mom does that often. She sings a song and she'd be like, I'd be like, what, it, what, it, <laughs> what song is that? You know what I'm talking about. She'd get mad because I don't <laughs> care. It's so off. It's like, there's no way you heard that song like that. There's no song that goes, I yeah, It's like, who sings it? <laughs> the pitch would just dip for no well, reason. You always talking about somebody dipping their pitch. Yeah, I like to do. I I point out things of people that I'm pretty sure I'm guilty of as well. I find it funny, and I also find it funny that you do it too. I never. I don't remember you doing that. What? You try to get it on the money. Oh, with, with the pitches. Of so. course, because I be. 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this is gosh. this is about to be a work oh, gosh. of art. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! You need Ashy. <laughs> Cut that one spot. I know light skin people got Ashy. What? I'm not that light. You so funny about my color. <laughs> like I am not funny. that like, You're funny about it. You're You act like on my dad's lack color. Lack of self-awareness. You act like on my dad's color though. You close? I'm nowhere near. No. I'm you nowhere put, near. You, it's funny if like you put him and Aaliyah together, I wonder who's lighter. It's like just know. in the face. That is weird. I guess I would say mm, I don't know. There's so many times I've been trying to take a picture of them, and I'm like, "Yeah, you you take it up the light. <laughs> They're a big light bulb." <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Wow, dang. Okay, so Ooh. what did we go see yesterday, Nikki? Boo? We went to go see Into the Spidey Verse. Is that how you say it? Spider Verse? Into the Spider Verse. It's not Spidey. I don't know why I keep saying Spidey Verse. I didn't know that. I thought it was called Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just Spider Man. No, it's into the it's into the Spider Verse. I sound like I don't. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm Did pointing out something that y'all don't hear because I get tired of hearing podcasts that do that. If <laughs> you point out audio stuff, I'm like, I don't hear it. Okay, I don't know why you keep pointing you do that it out all the time though. You'd I be, know. You be like, I want to get this thing fixed. Right, let's let's you rewind it. Hey. Let's rewind the podcast a little bit. Like I said, I like pointing out you. things that I'm pretty sure I'm guilty of doing too. I heard you say that. <laughs> I just like to I just like to make fun of you saying it. Is that you trying to respond to me in the way that I just said it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Into the Spider Verse. That's what it's called. Yo, if y'all have it, listen, IMDB, Rotten Tomato, you well, know Can't you vote? Okay. Uh, I probably can. Go ahead and vote. Go ahead and vote. IMDB, yo. You gave it an 8.7 out of 10. You definitely need to round that up to like a crispy 9.5. If you was basing it off of theirs, mm-hmm. I would give it a 10 out of 10. I love that movie. I, I really love that movie. I don't know it's because I've had this lately. My my fandom of Spider-Man has grown yeah. ever since the game and the new Spider-Man movie and, and the, yeah, the other one that's about actually, to come up. Yeah. The yeah. game can boost you really good. Exactly, man. It's just that it's, it's a cool concept. And I even like the animated show. The animated show did, does the same concept where we, we technically follow normal Spider-Man and he goes into the Spider-Verse and we meet the same people we saw in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and also there's Miles. He's there. But he comes over at one point because he, he kind of gets stuck. And in his you know uh, this in his is dimension, out with cartoons now. Yeah, it's no. our. It is was it like old, maybe maybe three years old. Oh, okay, yeah, it wasn't. It's not that new either. <laughs> Ooh, so these headphones. What's the point of putting it in theaters if it was already out as a cartoon? Oh well, that's a different. They they told the story a little differently. It wasn't the oh. same thing. It was just that that concept has existed, which is most movies anyway. Okay, so um. But yeah, they, I would actually like that if they turned it into like a TV series, like that, because it it can be, it can mm-hmm. work as well. They can stretch it. Like, you don't even have to do it around miles. You could just do it with um, Spider Gwen. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it a good one. They they made fun of themselves, which I love. I love when you watch it something they they make fun of themselves. What they say? Um, like that one time with the pig, he was like, "All right, that's all, folks." Oh, and he was like, "Is, is he legal? Can he legally say oh, that?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he legally say that. It's like kind of that jumping out of the movie thing, um, you know, not painting Miles as this first person that can just immediately do anything. He is, yeah. His come up story he made more sense, right. right? And I. I just um, love all their voice. I want to know who plays all the male figures. They all their voices sound so cute. <laughs> really? All the guys. Sound I think cute. you know them. I think you'll know yeah, some of them. I'm sure. I couldn't figure out. The only person I knew was um the pig. He was a uh, he's a comedian. I can't remember his name. That's it. <laughs> but I like him as a comedian. I would give it a ten out of ten too. Yeah, it was a good movie. It was good. Y'all should go Very check it out. Enjoyable. If you did not see it. And if you did, I know I'm late, but whatever. It's cool. Yeah, we waited for a while. <laughs> I think it came out in like November or December. Maybe, yeah. Something like that. So I think like it's that far. It was around the time after The Incredibles because we was getting those trailers. Right, right. But that movie is good. I'm getting on DVD. Uh, if I can find a poster of it, I'll get it too. That'll be something that's on my wall. Your daddy's wall? No, this wall. Oh. Dad's wall. He, he, don't, he, he don't need my 
stuff on his wall. Yeah, it seemed like he just got random stuff though. Like yeah. he didn't care. He changes he them to put too. It up. Oh, for real? Yeah. Y'all fancy up in he here? He don't change them all the time, but anytime there's another movie that he likes, he'll put it up. Oh, fancy? I don't know where I will put it though. Um, I like the GTA. GTA. One. See, once again, we're getting more visual in this room. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very visual, but no vision. Can't mm. help you out. Good job, babe. Yeah. I like when you I'm struggle with my a, train of thought. I like when you struggle with a sentence. Why? Because it's funny. Because like once again, because you back like early to make in the podcast, people. <laughs> because, let's say it together now. We we like to make, well, say it together now. I like to, to, to make fun, fun of people, people even though I'm guilty, guilty of doing the same things. Yeah. Thing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, though. You're such a goofball. Well, uh, it wouldn't be me if I wasn't. But I do love the twist. I love the twist in the movie, how they went from, like, you know, this. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, my bad. I mean, spoilers. If you haven't seen the movie, skip a couple seconds. You'll hear the conversation kind of turn. So, yeah. I'm going to give you a little time. All right. Um I like how they switch from the the Spider Man being like the the you know the typical Spider Man. He's like the crime fighting guy, and it was like, oh no, he dies. And the yeah. Spider Man we mainly deal with is the one that's been out on his love. Well, nobody's gonna want to watch this fully because you just spoiled it. I just said that. I said if they if you haven't watched it, skip it, skip a little bit in the podcast. Uh-uh. That was the spoiler warning. I heard you. But then I was like, oh, they, so you, I'd be forgetting people. You're probably my audience. You're probably my audience. It goes, on the hard oh, come person. on. I was just watching. Just yeah. listen to this. Those hard-headed people that you don't open the door. The door is broken. And those people who open the door. <laughs> you can't read? You want to hear me say it? Yeah. I like I said, we're open at not, We're open at 10. And you're here at 9. Start and you're like. knocking at the window. You all not open? Well, you not open. Like, look at the sign it's right there it's 958 you can't tug on the entrance door without seeing the hours there's just no way that you would totally ignore that i can't read come on man. i just need one thing yeah no I, I get that from the late people late people come in i just i'm real quick man i know y'all about to close i'm mm-hmm. but then why do you take 10 minutes when you only got five but if it's 955 you only got Two minutes. Then they say, oh, you got to take care of the customer. Nope. Do you <laughs> understand? If I make the sale and if I don't make the sale, it don't affect my check. Gonna my stay check. The same. <laughs> <laughs> it don't affect my check. I don't get why you don't understand that. That's I a good t-shirt. same hours. You don't I guess affect it affects it next week. My check. There you go. Go ahead back to what you were talking about. You were saying that you like how <laughs> Spider Man didn't stick to the stigma of yeah, being like, Spider Man. The trailer didn't throw me off. Like yes. the trailer wasn't like it was not even when we watched the extended trailer, it wasn't very telling. So yes, right. you're right. And I like how even I knew who the Spider Man was, and then when I was like listening to him, I was like, Huh. He didn't really sound like the same Spider Man. But then him dying like, Oh snap. He actually does. I wonder if the real Peter Parker is like in real life. Mm-hmm. What if he's really real? No, if he's how he feels about everything, like he can't do it again. What? Another Spider-Man movie. Who's the real Peter Parker? The guy with the glasses, who originally was dating the original Mary Jane, the very first Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire. That's his name. You talk about from another movie. You talking yeah. about like the earlier Spider Man yeah. movies? Oh, yes. oh, okay. What's the question again? I wonder how he feels about it all. Like <laughs> now, now that it's, it's over for him. Mm. I don't know. I think he. I think he knows. I'm probably same way Harry Potter feels. I feel bad for the other Spider Man guy. Which one? The second one. The Why second. he got a lot of backlash? Because he he really he was kind of like that transition Spider Man, like. You really don't remember him. Yeah, you sure You're don't. like, oh, yeah, there was that Spider-Man, those two Spider-Man what was movies. It? Huh? What was it? I don't know, but I always see that. It's funny how you, you went out of Google I to get back. I always do that. And I, you missed it. You missed the home button. Where's the home button? You missed the home button. You press down here. Here? And you missed this button right here. It's the home button. Babe. Oh, okay. You, you missed it. 
it then still clicked it <laughs> to get back in there. Um, yeah, I feel bad for him because he got he has two movies actually, and you're kind of like, oh yeah, I forgot that was that happened because those movies are was non-existent. See those. Those. He uses Spider Man three. Mm hmm. Cause Tobey Maguire was in Spider Man two. I always hated it the way Tobey Maguire cried. I was like, uh, I'm not here for it. I don't get the what was the concept of the Black Spider Man again? Oh uh, well, it was like Venom. Mm. Okay. Mm hmm. And he was able to get it off. And he was like a bad guy. I mean, he wasn't a bad guy. He just he was more aggressive. Yeah. And then that's how Venom came about. Venom is a parasite. Who are you looking up? Four? I mean, five? It had to be Spider Man 4. No, it's still. The other, the new Spider Man was just Spider Man. It was like Spider Man 1 and Spider Man 2. Oh. Like, they don't just continue off if they. They sure don't. They just make it a new. Right. That's like, that's like making Harry Potter what? 8 with a whole new cast. It's yeah, like, you're well, right. there's no Harry Potter. Then <laughs> 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 what was the point? What's. How do you. Why? No, no, no. What's the <laughs> point of. Disney Pixar. What's the I point of them? It. Yeah, why don't they just They're two different stick studios. with Disney? Oh, because Pixar is their own animated animated studios. That's just under Disney. Oh, because at one so a while ago, they was Pixar was going to leave uh, Disney until they was like, "Nah, we're gonna pay you. We're gonna pay you some more. We're gonna pay you some more money. You stay." We need you. We mm -hmm. need you. I remember when everybody went through this whole thing of like knowing the difference between Disney and Pixar. Yeah, I Disney. was. I was part of that train. But I'm like, what? How did y'all not know the difference? <laughs> like, there was no movie in my head that went, oh, which one is Disney and which one's Pixar? Every one of them that seems all ballroom and old timey and you know, very princessy oriented stuff seemed like it was just Disney. Mm -hmm. And then everything that was more soup, more adventure yeah. was Pixar. As long as I got my suit and tie. That's what it sounded like you were about to say, suit and yeah. tie. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> just to go into the all smooth like. Smooth like! Was it like 2012? I would say so. Yeah. Damn, I was on the money. You was. On the money! Yep, that's it with her. What's his name? Emma Stone okay. was not supposed to be Mary Jane. <laughs> they sucked at with that. No. Oh. That was horrid. Mm -hmm. Oh, him. Yeah. Yeah, he that was a bad idea. Yeah. I I couldn't remember what his thing was. He, he always had, looked like he about to cry. Exactly. He had that same thing like Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> it was like this this typical thing that he had and was just like, All right, man, come on. Let's just use it. <laughs> but I, I didn't really oh, care for those Spider Man. So. Optimus. <laughs> he used to, my mom used to always start screaming when he did that. Really? And then we start screaming Bumblebee. Bumblebee. <laughs> Jeez. That boy was a yeller. He sure was. It is funny. As many times you think about even Stevens, you're like, I forgot that that was yep. his thing. <laughs> I was just mad when yeller. he started to get like, everybody started to know who he was. Really? When Transformers came out, I was like, I was with him shooting in the gym with Even Stevens. No, you were with holes. Holla at me when y'all know about. Was that the after dance. Even Stevens holes? Yes. Dig yeah, because he was a little older. Even Stevens, he was a baby. It was hard for me to understand the Madam is the only thing. I was, I didn't understand when I was little. Uh -huh. I had to keep watching it to understand that part. I was like, so. Is that her son or? You talking about the <laughs> point of the movie? Yeah. I forgot what was the point of the movie. He just kept, he was cursed. His family was cursed, so he just kept getting in trouble. And in holes? Yeah. All I could think about them is digging. I don't know what, else. I thought it was all <laughs> they in were trouble. Dig yeah, they were digging because they were at like this detention center or juvenile center. Uh -huh. And they made them dig holes illegally. That needs to go on first timers. I ain't seen that in so long. Wow. Yeah, sure. yeah, we can do yeah, that. Yeah, why not? You say, wow. <laughs> wow. Because I'm like, wow, you really don't remember? Nah, not in detail. All I remember going, zero! Yeah, so he wasn't yellow. <laughs> Spitting all over the place. That's all I can remember. Zero! They're, they're 
freaking rap scenes are so cringy. Yeah, there you go. We need some more cringy movies. I wonder, can I get over my cringiness? Mm-mm, my teeth start to hurt. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> it's like I, an aching. <laughs> it almost feels like I don't know. It's uncontrollable. Yep. And that's that's probably I don't know what that is, but. I wonder if I can get over my cringiness. Because there's certain things I can't even watch. Like, certain WWE things, I can't watch because it gets cringy. Because it's too it's too long. We're focusing <laughs> on this too long. And I'm like, all right, y'all, this is, we need to move on. Let's go. It's like, I, um, I, yeah. I understand it's fake and, and all this sort of stuff, like, as far as the actual fighting. But Are you thinking about it right now? Yeah. Who, who's <laughs> really watching wrestling for the for, 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 for to see how, how good can they really tangle? It's like, well, they can still wrestle in a way where it's art something like that i don't know how else to describe it but it's just the talking of sometimes i'm like you i'm gonna see like, you the storyline and whatever it is it's good sometimes when it feels authentic like oh. it feels and it's like i like them talking to each other okay but it's weird when you go you know i'm gonna see you at royal rumble and when i get there you're going to go down it's like stop <laughs> That doesn't even sound like a real threat. Like, you know, sometimes I'll be like, oh, shoot. Oh, this is about to be crazy. Yeah, they do good with boxing, all that acting. Yeah. I was so mad. I was like. At least with boxing. Did y'all just start hugging? Yeah. All that. Y'all was talking. You're so cool, man. I can do good out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Put their heads together. I was like, what? (laughs) All that sweat. I know they face breaking out. (laughs) Got to. I can't stand it. Got to be. I used to hate hooping with certain people that sweat all the time, making my arms break out because someone's in there playing defense. (laughs) I had a cousin who used to sweat real bad. Mm -hmm. And when, you know, like when we were younger and we would go out Mm -hmm. to like parties and stuff girls will have to hang on to each other and i was like oh don't let me be behind her i want to touch her back <laughs> oh, <laughs> my man. hand is gonna be on 10 i always feel bad for girls that sweat because they always yeah. wear the thinnest clothes and it's yep. like especially when girls come out with their little dress on and like maybe look blue i'll be like oh you you didn't think about going outside the perspiration yeah it's, it's all under her armpits and she gotta keep her arms down mm-hmm. or something that's not even aware of it mm-hmm. just be- especially when they don't know right like, That's why I be trying to be the lookout, but then everybody say I'm being mean. Yeah, I'm being mean. You got a booger in your nose. <laughs> I always made sure, like, if we went to Six Flags, always wear a black T-shirt. I don't care if it gets hot; it's gonna get hot on me. But you ain't gonna see me sweating. <laughs> so I get sweaty right under here. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get sweaty a lot. If I wear like a gray t-shirt, all oh, this is showing. Yeah, that's normal. My whole stomach. I'm like, oh my gosh. But still, it, it looks nasty. It's such a turn off when I've seen it. Ew, the gray white yeah. beaters. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you just see their belly button. It never was in the like their stomach. It was always their belly button on the crease of where yeah. their stomach started. It was never in the middle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And then they have their sandals with no socks. <laughs> they were always the same men. Yeah. Every time I laugh like that, I think I'm uh, of Courage and Cowardly Dog. <laughs> <laughs> that part used to creep me out. <laughs> I literally would change the channel because I knew that was going to come up. I don't know why. I love I love Courage. Yeah. But that show would creep me out sometimes. I'm just like, I can't watch this all the way through. I guess it's kind of like how people that get scared by scary movies but like scary movies me yeah i didn't even think about you when i said that but i would have thought about you later <laughs> you never think about me you never think about me every single morning that sound like ja rule the song sounds like a mixture between a couple of us <laughs> it's ja rule mixed with 50 cent yeah <laughs> every single morning yeah yeah sure did <laughs> what i do about you <laughs> yeah you know i really love you how he got famous for that i feel like i was kind of going dmx for a second <laughs> <laughs> yeah a little bit <laughs> i love you yeah who knows the red nose right now had a pair of shiny nose <laughs> was beating on the desk it sure time. was Darn, you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's get it on come on <laughs> come on <laughs> okay what you really want <laughs> <laughs> this is not a bad what you call it really yeah that wasn't bad it was very like a smaller dog yeah you did go 
That would be funny if TFX was like, yeah, like this. Thanks to get on my nerves, that yeah. part. You know, talk to me, but you can't talk to them. <laughs> oh, things I do for love. <laughs> like, Muriel! That's <laughs> 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 stupid. <laughs> oh, man. That was a good talk, man. Who thought we. <laughs> yeah, that part used to give Stuff me. My there was a reason. In that episode, didn't they talk about Flim? The Flim Sim Defer? No, what? When they talk about Flim? Who's Flim? It was some type of dish. It was like flim, flim, flim. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I know. It's weird because every time I think of this, I always feel like I see him holding it and it's like flim. <laughs> because no. I can't even look it up because all I can spell is film. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. If that's it. Just look up Curse of Cowley Dog episodes and just dig through. They ain't got that many. Hmm. I think uh, if I was ever doing a solo podcast, I would try to. <laughs> There'd be a lot of researching, mm-hmm. and there's not going to be any time between, I can say, all right, you keep them busy while I look this up. Curious so, there once was a man named Michael Finnegan. He had some whiskers on his chin again. The wind blew off, and then, oh, win again. Poor Michael Finnegan began again. <laughs> <laughs> what? There once was a man named Michael Finnegan. He had some whiskers on his chin again, and the wind blew off, and... Blew his win again. Um, poor Michael Finnegan begin again. Um, you know that game that we were playing for Christmas was I go to the store and I went to go buy this and this, and the person has to finish it. So, you remember we played it last Christmas? Wasn't this? Oh, Christmas? oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We tried to when I was out with a couple of people. We we tried to play that. And they kept saying stuff that I was like, I'm not going to remember that. Oh, like, you set yeah. me up for a loss. I can't stand when people do that for attention. Mm-hmm. Set you up for a loss. That's annoying. That's why I like to play board games. Because <laughs> they can't set you up. Yeah. Up. They can't set me up to lose. Yo. Just to be the most I'm not important make, girl in the room. I'm not trying to make you sound crazy or nothing. What? It's a weird way to start that. How you spell dessert? I used to spell desert. Yeah, I'm spelling that every single time. I think it's D E S E R T. Dessert. And I used to just spell D E S S E R T. Oh my gosh, because they keep from, they keep making me say f- film desert. The, is it the same episode I said? I don't know. I keep I see it. I see it in that episode. No, Yo, I think the food. tomb guy was just. I don't think he was holding anything. He wasn't. No. Oh my gosh, y'all! I'm so sorry. <laughs> there, <laughs> there once was a man named Michael Finnegan. So <laughs> we what was is happening? we oh, was talking D-E-S-S-E-R-T. about D E S S E R T. That's not desert. That's dessert. How you spell desert? D- hey Siri. Mm, okay. I can tell you. I'm this is ch- iPhone cheap D-E-S-E-R-T. iPhone. D E S E R T. That's desert? Mm hmm. Dessert. <laughs> desert. <laughs> I feel like that's not wrong. <laughs> well, I'm seeing it now. No, not like a, a, a horrible mistake. That's not a horrible mistake. Just like dairy and diary. <laughs> I always think about those two words. <laughs> it's like That's it's just sad. a letter switched. Yeah. It's hard for me to no. It it used to be hard for me to sympathize with people who say like English is really hard. I was like, no, it's not. But when you start to think about like I don't know the prepositions and prefixes and stuff like that either. Mm-hmm. And then they'd be like, What's the point of putting a apostrophe over that apostrophe S? I was like, It's something about possession. <laughs> You gotta know who you're talking about, right? <laughs> I, remember, I don't know. I think I talked about this on the podcast. I don't know. I talk a lot. Um, you sure do. I ain't a player. I just talk a lot. 
I don't forget stuff. I just talk a lot. I was trying to remix that, but it ain't working. So I was uh, thinking, like, when I was a, as a kid, I was like, and when people that don't speak English, how do they hear English? Like, how do they hear me? I feel like we're, I feel like we are speaking. I feel like we were speaking a simple language. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't think they understand me, but does it sound like how we talking? There's just no understanding, right? I feel like it's the same way I hear Spanish. But I wonder if there's somebody that's, that speaks another language that's like, they can't understand us. And like, if I'm speaking German, do they not? What do they hear? <laughs> It's like, I don't get it. What are you talking about? I meaning, like, do they not understand how somebody that speaks English not understand German or something, you know? Oh. Like, is somebody thinking that way, the same way as I was thinking as a kid? Yeah. Uh, that, like, yeah, I'm sure. It'd be kind of funny to, to think of that. It's like, well, no, nothing is simple. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird because it's the difference between us and Spanish is that they do, we don't mush our words together when we talk. Well, there's spaces in our words. Yeah. And theirs is just who are you comparing to? <laughs> one word. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> who are you comparing it to? People that can actually speak proper English, or you talk because we have slang, which is Even like them. Slang is just they have a lot of slang too. Spaces, which makes it their barrier starts to kind of push away. I was watching Atlanta, and there was this guy who was talking, and I couldn't understand what he said. Yo, there's so many people that come into my office, and I'm just like, what are you saying? I'm like, like he's speaking a whole other language. Yeah. And it's, it's I don't even know. I don't know if it's between the, the slang words, and maybe it's just not open up his, opening up his it has mouth. has to be. has to be. And I'm just like, what are you saying, bro? Get it, and then I have to go. I was looking confused. Yep. Say it again. <laughs> <Picture face. laughs> I used to, especially when people had like facial features, I would try so hard not to stare at them. Mm-hmm. Like this one, I remember this one person had like brown in their teeth, and it was like their permanent tooth. And I was yeah. like staring, just staring <laughs> so hard. I'm like, oh, stop staring at her mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> this is oh my gosh at mm. my job mm-hmm. there's this girl and she like she doesn't you never see her open her mouth Where? she talks with her teeth like literally with her teeth closed really and it's like she's like oh it's hard of these people coming over here and i was like i can't hear you <laughs> i just be like let her talk because i'm like it, it doesn't apply to me what she's saying right it's right. crazy stuff <laughs> so many things but I, I i i enjoy people that are just so different in things because yeah it, it, it makes you feel like the world is bigger than it feels yeah the social media stuff makes the, the world feel so small it sure does <laughs> it, it sure does it's like everybody knows everything but it does it's nice to see and people not in know person anything. i could say i was i had fun people watching yesterday Mm-hmm. I was just people we were sitting there for 30 minutes just waiting for our food one thing that like especially you know you just saying that like one thing i can appreciate you know for my childhood i'm pretty sure value is going to change over time mm-hmm. but i'm I'm glad that i didn't fully experience the social media age yeah me too me too that this i think that kind of seems superficial yeah i feel like we it, they don't I ain't gonna say they because I'm pretty sure they're in some sense the ones that I'm not talking about do understand between real life and social media stuff. Right. But um constantly feel like if you don't post anything, you're away from the world. But I, I mean no. towards like freshman year, I would say, that's when it really started to seem like it was more of a thing because it was the concept of uh Twitter and Facebook on your on your phone as an app yeah. it was so weird to me. It was like I like seeing it on my desktop because it seemed like the app didn't show you much. Yeah, that's how I used to feel. <laughs> so like, I'm like, I'm on a computer. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, that was where I lived my life. All that typing. I was so fascinated by people that could type so fast, and, and everybody wanted to type fast. And Mavis Beacon. Do people kids do do Mavis Beacon? I'm pretty uh, sure they do. I don't know what that is. Mavis, 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 Mavis I Beacon. I don't know what that is. It's a it's a typing program. Is that the one that says that don't use the caps lock? It tests you. I think I like that one. 
I haven't tell used you that how many words school. you type a minute? Yeah, I, I probably use it. But I haven't used it since middle school, which mm. is in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the last time we used it too. But I thought you said you ain't. Never. You need a name, so I ain't know the name of the stuff I used. That was the only thing that we kept <laughs> saying. Cool math and Mavis Beacon. <laughs> yeah, y'all knew a lot about cool math. We didn't do that though. Mm-hmm. Out there. That yeah. was the only thing that the computers didn't block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were, I remember coming here for the first time in eighth grade, and I saw everybody was. She was like, "All right, there's free computer time or something like that." Mm-hmm. I was like, "What else? What am I supposed to do?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, you can get on cool math." I was like, "What is that?" Yeah, I got on it. Was hooked. That blocks game, man. That, that game right there. I'll be. We ever like, what do we want? <laughs> and then people be cheating because there's a code up top. If you can click, you type in that code, you get to the next level. So you would even have to. So then people be like, you know, I was on level forty. Back to what you were saying about uh, you're glad that you didn't grow up during the social media age, uh-huh. like growing up. Right. <laughs> like, I think yeah, the kids who are growing up in the middle of it will never know how to make things out of boredom. Yeah, like make fun out of boredom. Yeah. Unless it all gets taken away from them, then they are forced to. But mm-hmm. they'll never do it on their own accord. I think. They, I used to think about like, what was I doing in a waiting room? <laughs> was I reading those magazines? Mm-mm. I I always thought that I was going to when I grow up. I was like, was I? Uh, I'm gonna be the ones that come in the waiting room and read, watch stuff. I mean, every time I saw a Sports Illustrated, um, not a sponsor, I saw a Sports Illustrated uh, magazine. I picked it up. Yeah, that's focused for you guys. Yeah, or when I saw Nickelodeon, I saw the Nickelodeon magazine. I was so excited when I saw Nickelodeon magazine because that's one of the ones I wanted. Yo, there's got to be somebody out there that collected all those, <laughs> <laughs> like they did with the Time magazines and the Jet magazines. Oh, I miss those. I never really even seen it. <laughs> really? No, I'm, I seen them in the bathroom, but it wasn't like. <laughs> Ew. You know, they, nobody was really consistently, um, yeah. Such a that's, now that I think about it, it's such a nasty thing time to pick up one of a magazine. Yeah, in the bathroom. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. That's nasty. Yeah, unless it's yours, and it's yours. Yeah, whatever. But got your poopy hands on the magazine. Yeah, I don't know if they wiped and then was like, oh no, nope, be here a little longer, and then picked up a magazine. Yep. But I kind of got my phone for that. I'm glad that happened. No, nah, I used to just read the bottles of chemicals. That too. When I'm like, with that. what well, I was trying to figure I mean, out I was words. Work. I was at work and I was sitting on the toilet. And I'd be like, hmm, <laughs> what is fluvial chloride? Fluvial fluvial reason flora. No, I was not gonna work. How did I get on the floor? You got tired of sitting, mm. so you sat on the floor. Chill. You know. As much as, you know, well, I want to learn a, f- a foreign language, I actually want to live, I want to learn multiple foreign languages, but I want to also learn, learn accents. <laughs> like, you whole, adapt to it pretty well, so. Seems like it. I could, when I'm around it enough, I could do a northern. What's funny is that Aaliyah, my younger sister, still has hers. And her I was accent? Like, really? Yeah, because she got here in 2010. She was 10. Oh yeah, she goes by. She actually aged by the year. Yep. Dang. So when she's a hundred, it's gonna be twenty one. It's gonna be twenty one hundred. The year twenty one hundred. How old is she gonna be? A hundred. Yeah, a hundred. Oh. Says so she goes by the year. Oh. So when she's ninety, it's two thousand ninety. It's hard. The new ninety. Not judging people's parenting skills. It's hard. Because <laughs> I had to really stop uh, myself. Well, such a big transition. Yeah, that, <laughs> sorry. That was Go ahead, huge. Because there, there's a child that I saw mm-hmm. that was not eating mm-hmm. their food, but they were eating a bunch of junk. And I was like, you didn't even eat the, your food. You ate the chips. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, you're not my child. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not watching you today. Yeah. We used to always said to tell our uh, summer camp kids, like, they wouldn't eat their lunch. And it's like, but you want to play. Yeah. You know you got to get hungry. Yep. Then, then there'd be kids that would eat both of their lunches. And then now they don't have nothing to eat. And I'm like, <laughs> you knew we eat two lunches. 
<laughs> so it's like, what are you doing? What we say? What we say to bring two snacks on lunch? Actually? Yeah, so my I think stomach like, capacity. Yeah, daycare. It was the parents were just so picky. <laughs> it was weird. Yeah, I could do podcasts like this more often. We had a yeah. This is nice. Yeah, they not worried about, about the camera. How it you looking at you looking at the camera, making sure your hair is right. Did not noticing that your hair wasn't right. Yeah, he never says it. Oh, Nicholas yeah, he, never says yeah, anything never about says, my hair. So he never my says hair's wrapped during about it. the whole podcast last yeah, one. Man. I did not know. Mm-hmm. Hair days, yo, hair days. Yeah, he he needs to do better than that. What is editing? David ain't say nothing either. Y'all just let me look like a dude. Well, David, he just it's a figment of your imagination. No, David. If your David. child had an imaginary friend, you gonna support it? Yeah, that's good. I mean, like, if he's saying like his name is Steve, I don't know why that's my default name. He's like Steve said, da da da. I'm like, you remember, you remember when I said not to do this? <laughs> I know Steve understood that. <laughs> I'll play with it a little bit, but it'd be a certain extent. Yeah, hopefully it's not like crazy. Yeah, like one of your horror movies. He told me to right, all right, hang like, the doll from the ceiling. Look me like, in my eyes. Okay. Yeah, at this point, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> look like, at me. Look at me. We're not doing this anymore. We're not doing it no more. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. It was funny at first. No, it's not. When you're doing stuff like this, you need to let that guy go. Yep. <laughs> Just like any other friend, you need to let him go. Like <laughs> you're doing crazy stuff like this. <laughs> Look here. Like, let those people go. Let those people go. I, I, I. What is let this? Let the people go. I don't oh. Know. <laughs> I don't know the words in the middle, so I just made up the sounds. Mm-hmm. Go away. You're ashy. You can start a fire. Uh, Ew. Excuse me, madam. Madam was that? What's that? That's it. Oh yeah, what in the hell about the You got weird fingers. I remember <laughs> reversing things were so fun to do. Was it gonna see them? Is that what y'all did? We used I to do the it it. Really? It a. Uh, oh, you mean like pig? I would have put it to the store, stuff like that. I remember hearing something like that, but no, we didn't do it like to each other. Yeah, we. I did. just remember recording stuff and. And I was so fascinated how reversing it. I think R reverse was Nick for some reason. I was like R R R, and it'll like Nick 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 Nick. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it either. <laughs> because when I said Nick forwards, it'll go R back. I mean, it'll go R. So it was like kind of confusing. Did. Did you, you were yelling at me, so you I don't couldn't need hear that you. Cake. Uh-huh. Oh, they did. It was for my birthday. <laughs> you can have one. Yeah. Uh huh. I don't. You, you still don't mean you don't need it. Yeah, I was about to leave. You don't need it. Leave him alone. He's a grown man. No, his stuff is gonna be bubbling up. You know he can't handle that. You can't, dairy. No. No, yeah, he can, <laughs> but his stomach won't want it. <laughs> you can. All right, I ain't trying to hear. You're gonna, you gonna be here tomorrow. Oh no, you off tomorrow anyway. Yep, we all are. Oh no, he's still off. You still part of the shutdown thing, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, I, I know it's a thing. It's not my group. You <laughs> know, back in the not my group. 1700s, when you got diarrhea, <laughs> do I know? It yeah. meant that you were like already about to die so they already made a hole for you when you say you had diarrhea some serious stuff interesting fun fact to end it on you want me to um when uh nick comes on to the podcast i'll um i'll get him some questions yes we'll do some we'll do some calling i mean questions. i feel like <laughs> calling questions i feel like y'all Y'all make something to talk about. Mm. It's going to be like how you and, uh, mm. I wouldn't say Brandon, because Brandon was kind of bouncing off of you. Okay. I don't know if Nick does that. Okay. I got so lost. I was like, who, who, who? Cause I thought you'd call it Dakey's Brandon. 
They do, people do that sometimes. <laughs> people go, hmm, where your friend Brandon at? Who's Brandon? <laughs> they call that Keith Brandon. Yeah, because his brother named Brandon. Oh. So there's sometimes they'll be like, just, I don't know. Somehow, I don't understand how people can look at me and go, mm, I, my name's different. Never mind. And go, like, a name of somebody I know. Like, you know, like, look at me and be like, Elijah. And be like, how do you, how of all the names you hey, gave me Elijah. a friend of mine that I, you don't know Your name that. Elijah, right? No. <laughs> I came with him. <laughs> He's over there. Yeah, I remember like when, when we went to Georgia State and we'll hoop and they'd be like, Chris, Chris, Chris. <laughs> who's, and I'm like, who's that? Me? And they're like, no. Yeah, you, man. So y'all would go in the rec center at mm-hmm. the top? Mm-hmm. I can't wait to go there. Really? That's nice. Me, my future has been up in there. Are they running? I'm on a rock climbing or something. Yeah. Yeah. You look like you'll meet a runner. He gotta be smart. You gotta watch up. Well, you all you gotta all you have to do is go and run because them dudes are dogs down there. Really? It's like basically oh, no. imagine a pound, right? A dog pound, and that's just the whole the court is the dog pound, and all them dogs are down there, <laughs> and they see like a nice little like little nice little catch up there, like a little piece of meat. What and should they go, I wear? <laughs> what should I wear? Watching them run around, I'd be like, dang, tightest pants you can wear, your little Nike pants, Nike Nike tights. They got some cute ones on my mm-hmm. job. And your little necky top right there. Mm-hmm. Just don't do your little run. <laughs> Change your run. <laughs> <laughs> Change your run to more of a track star. Change. Yeah, look like you could run. Look like, <laughs> not, no, like you're trying to get somewhere. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> your run is hilarious to me. <laughs> I don't know. See, I used to laugh at it, too. I don't know how to run. You run. <laughs> you, oh, my gosh. You need to see... Uh, there's an episode of Friends where Phoebe is running and she just runs wild. <laughs> that's what it, you don't run like that, but that's yeah. what that reminds me of. <laughs> you should watch that episode. <laughs> and Rachel's like, "Oh, this is actually pretty fun." And running like her, she was scared to. She didn't like running with Phoebe because that's how she ran. And it was like, "Oh, this is embarrassing." Uh-oh. But you run like you trying to get away from something. <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> but you're pretty fast. You're fast. That's the funny part about it too. You're faster than me. Shut up. Yeah, that is hilarious. Because I, I really that. thought you had me. <laughs> There's like an un- unseen footage of me and Jada racing, and I killed her. Yeah. <laughs> She's gone. She's dead. <laughs> that running dream is gone. She was a high school track star, middle school track star. Middle school. Mm, that's probably the problem there. Yeah. <laughs> Stopped in middle school. I cracked my ankles back then. <laughs> Every every time I run, my ankles start to go. And I can I can't even walk like after bunch, that. Like a bunch of lighters. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody try to light a lighter. Ew. That's great, but I I didn't know that I I was genuinely thinking you was gonna beat me. I don't know why. Like, I that's what set myself feet. up. I was like, all right, I'm cool. That's whatever. And then I'm like, oh, you're not that bad. You used to be so much. You were so fast back in the day. I don't think you remember that. You was. I remember one time we was running. I don't know where you was going, but you ran across where the tennis course is at yeah. and over by the gazebo. You just gone. <laughs> and I was like, damn, girl, cute fast. boy down there. I don't know what you was running for. I don't know what you was running for, but you was gone. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my big self couldn't catch up with that. I don't know. Maybe when I get back to, when I start the yoga, mm, stretching out my next ankles. Year? That's going to be a next year resolution? No. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so funny. Resolutions are lame, ma. <laughs> like, like it's some, this is an early 2000 uh, movie. Resolutions are lame. I got to live in the moment. Um. You said it was funny how something. Mm, that's, that I wish it was a lot more was remembered. <laughs> uh, Resolutions. It's funny mm. how. Oh, people get offended. Like people would get offended if I if if you point out that that they won't do something this year. They wait till next year to do it. Oh go, yeah. Well, man, I was actually trying to do it, man. I'm actually really. I'm like, oh no, man! Like I'm just messing with you. You don't need to do it. Because you be making people feel bad. I and don't then be like, these aren't real feelings. Listen. <laughs> Just saying. There is a select few people that when I say something, they don't know me. 
so they would feel some type of way about it. But most cases, it's not. <laughs> most cases, I don't bring up stuff like that until I feel like I get to know you, or I feel like I know certain things about you that I can point out. But I'm not pointing out nothing that you're not familiar with. Yeah. So I was like, and I get that sometimes don't people don't need to hear it, but. Sometimes I'm like, you kind of have to notice that other people do notice, and then you probably want to change it. True. Some people. That sounds like you said Rue. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Rue? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably from something. I know that um, people from South Africa say Rue. For what? It's like, like, it's like bro? Yeah. Mm. It's like Rue. So, quick side note. I got a question. <laughs> quick side note. Question. <laughs> If, if there's a person that I just keep talking about, would you get annoyed? Like eventually, like be like kind of like how you would how you do when you talk about me to people. Be like, oh, Jada likes that. Or I remember I was talking to Jada one time, and oh, if you was bringing somebody up like else yeah, like that to you, I guess at a certain point I'd be like. Would you like this person or something? <laughs> like, dang. You just, just bring them up in every situation. It's hard, hard to understand your level sometimes. Now I get it if it's like most things that he did is something that has been said before. If it's like an earlier conversation, I get that. But if it's like everything, most times I bring you up because most of the stuff that I'm doing, because I'm around you mostly. So when I'm out with somebody else and they do something, like, oh, yeah, my girlfriend does that too. But that makes sense. Uh, but when you two of us together, you talking about some other dude or some other yeah. girl. It's like, okay. <laughs> oh, man, he do that too. He does that too. He just said that too. I'm like, calm down. <laughs> what, well, you got a crush or something? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all you can think about? Like, girl, I but don't I always, care. I always find those things funny before I get annoyed by it. Yeah, you always do. It's like a a ten <laughs> joke rule for you. Oh, I guess yeah, it's got to be. You make ten jokes about it, and then be like, "There's so many things." That hold on, that, that that that's serious about. I mean, that's serious things, and I'm like, that's not on the list of things. Yeah. I'm like, is that Polar Express? Are right, you want to wrap this, this up? This is the Polar Express. Oh, we're an hour and a minute in. What's the next holiday? Oh, Valentine's Day. Kroger's setting up for it already. <laughs> Dog, that was so. That was such a. Um, what's that? Uh, it's prompt. I like it. What's that Ricky Smiley show? Like, like them. Like you, you kind of prepped up like them. Like it was like a new. Oh. Like it was oh, a topic. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it, was, it was a topic. Valentine's Day is around the corner. Yep. Oh, go ahead. You go ahead. This is Ricky Shot. Mm. Mm. This is the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, and today we're gonna be talking about Valentine's Day. Today, Valentine's Day, and we're gonna let you shout out your Valentine. A lot of fillers, yeah. yeah. I get you though. Yeah, but I was like, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. one hundred seven point. Get me prepared, and I can go on and on and on and on. Keep going and going and going. Playing and going. the hottest, playing the hottest music alive. One hundred seven point one. <laughs> yeah, just plays in. I can do radio, but I, I you always, can. The only reason why I would do radio is because go intern for it's somebody. Something else that I'm doing. It's you communications. Know? I mean, yeah, it can be. If, if, if there was a radio opportunity that came my way, I would do it. I would really have to start working on my talking. <laughs> You're not that bad. Nobody wants to keep hearing. <laughs> you guys just keep yourself prepped. I mean, not pep. You gotta keep yourself pepped up. Then if I'm reading sponsors, I'm like, a sponsor today is Crush. Keeping your thirst up and your time is getting hard. Pop open a can of Crush. Crush is you got to rehearse, honey. Crush is it was 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 here since 1920. You would be a lot more energized if you had Crush. You know you would. Oh, Crush. Yo, I don't even have to read this ad. <laughs> I'll I'm be trying like, to tell y'all, crush. crush is crushing it. And I'm trying to tell you right now, y'all need to go out and get yourselves a Crush right now. If you listen to this radio station, I'm pretty sure that you're a Crush fan. Yep. And you'd be like, you want your first Crush to last? Don't let it go so fast. <laughs> crush. Ah. Uh, they killing it. You want your first Crush to last? I love it. Don't give me oh boy, I love it. Crush, hit me up. JCMN Network at Gmail 
dot com. Wouldn't it be Coca-Cola? That's, that's they depends. <laughs> They're really under Dr. Pepper. Depends like diapers? No, because <laughs> here Pepsi distributes them. But in other countries, Coca-Cola distributes them. But they're under Dr. Pepper. So it's Dr. Pepper and 7-Up and Crush. So do they like buy it from Dr. Pepper? No, they're just basically it? like a, a warehouse that they move mm. stuff to. It's like, hey, y'all, y'all want to... Look at the monopolies coming together. Mm, okay. But they don't really do that. As soon as I learned about it, i just been using it. <laughs> it's dependent on the countries. <laughs> I learned about monopolies in the right Monopoly. definition. I was like, all right, I'm about to use this everywhere. It's like, can I, can I get that piece of paper? Yeah, because all these monopolies out here. <laughs> they all own the paper. <laughs> it's the same company. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I feel like there is only one paper company. There has to be. Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> yeah, let's just say that. It's the Dunder Mifflin of paper companies. It's the only one you know. Ooh, that's the that's the slogan right there. Dunder Mifflin. It's the only one you know. Take us home, Nikki. Take us home. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this podcast. I'm really trying to keep up with this. And if we you gave do you like a it, whole hour because we missed two weeks. Should, well, probably should have did two hours. No, you don't get that much. We'll we'll keep we'll we'll catch up. But if you like this podcast, be sure to subscribe to any <laughs> other place that you get your podcast. I mean Spotify, Apple, I mean any other podcast that you listen to your podcast to. Anchor. Anchor, mainly anchor. Can't because forget the gym. I mean, they they're the reason why I'm even on these platforms and I appreciate y'all at Anchor. And I know you don't hear me at all, <laughs> but it's nice to know that y'all are at my door mm-hmm. i was gonna say dough try to m- r- rhyme it with it but it ain't working but if you like this i was waiting for you at the dough <laughs> if you like this podcast support it everywhere you can um like this video because it is on youtube at jcmn network and i greatly appreciate that too subscribe to the channel and we will see you next week P- promise you that yeah, because we actually got a plan next week, so we, we got to. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Don't want to flake on nobody. I mean, I could not just edit the video, and but that's not the point. <laughs> we'll be here next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Teletubbies. Let's. <laughs>